In the last 75 years, we've set up the basic legal structure that governs economic activities in this country. Uh, we've brought in, uh, based on the demands of time, we've brought in new laws, repealed old ones, uh, set up new regulatory structures, uh, given them enforcement powers. Uh, you've been part of uh, you know, several of these changes in the capacity of, uh, as an advisor, both to the government and businesses. How have you seen the approach to policy making evolve in your experience? So firstly, Pashwini, thank you so much for uh, having me on this uh, show. Uh, I personally also feel very strongly about this theme of India at 75 and the journey ahead. So uh, I feel very invested uh, in this uh, journey as an Indian uh, as well. Now you're asking me to take a sweep of uh, 75 years in terms of how uh, policy and rulemaking has evolved over 75 years. So let me step back and take a kind of a macro view of uh, uh, of this journey. Firstly, I think, you know, a lot has changed as, would, as you would expect in a dynamic country like uh, India over the 75 years period. But let me boil it down to just three trends first. Uh, the first uh, clear trend is that we moved away from the Nehruvian socialism of the early years after independence to what is now largely a, a sort of a more market-based economy. And I think a lot of the rulemaking and policy making has uh, evolved to accommodate this reality. And that carries a number of kind of nuances as well. I think in the uh, we've moved away also as a consequence of this from a much more relationship-based uh, system to a more rule-based system. Uh, it's still work in progress because a lot has to be done and the rules need to be clear as well. But it's like moving a super tanker, you know, you yeah. move it, uh, you know, degree by degree, you can't just turn it on its uh, on its axis. So this is one big change. Uh, we saw the first, uh, in more recent times, we saw the first big move in 91 in the you know, Narsimha Rao Manmohan Singh sort of reforms, where that first change of, you know, when we actually deeply recognize the deficiencies of the earlier system and moved away to a more uh, market-based, I won't use the word capitalist, but a more market-based system where private entrepreneurship uh, was was to be given effectively a chance. So that was, a f and then what followed thereafter, I think is uh, history and what you see of modern India in terms of the economy today, I think it can train it, trace it back to uh, that point of time. This, we are seeing the second generation of reforms as well. And I think the most prominent example of that, I would think, was IBC. Right. Where we kind of turned uh, the, the past concept on its head and brought in perhaps raw capitalism, where uh, you could have corporations or businesses fail and the market forces took over, as opposed to just somehow trying to uh, keep, them, uh, keep them alive. And I think also recognize the reality that uh, that you know, promoters or whatever whatever name you want to call them, have no divine right to uh, to sort of govern. And consequently, you created uh, a market for corporate control. I mean, we had the takeover code and hostile offers, all of that when the equity markets was there. But the first birth of the control of corporate corporate control market was really created, I think, in IBC. So these are the two kind of. Uh, you know, milestones which personify this journey. There have been many other, uh, you know, nuances and versions to this fundamental move away from a socialist, uh, a Nehruvian socialist model to what I would call a market-based model. The second broad trend I would say is that uh, we have become much more responsive to feedback. Uh, you know, all governments have an ego about policy or regulation that they bring in. But uh, you also see examples where if there is strong enough feedback, even legislation is rolled back. Uh, not to be political, but both the farm laws as well as the private, you know, this personal data protection bill, the rollback of it is proof uh, that if there is, uh, if the market has kind of rejected a certain concept, that uh, it is better to roll back and do some, you know, take a fresh crack at it rather than just get stuck on ego and continue with it. And the third, uh, it's still early days, but I'm seeing uh, you know green shoots of it, is that India is becoming a rule maker rather than a rule taker. 
even in terms of global issues like crypto for example yeah or uh, you know many of the other issues which affect kind of global uh, global policy as well so i think we are getting confidence in our stride of being able to actually lead a conversation globally rather than only you know waha america mein kya ho raha hai or you know england mein kya ho raha hai and then quickly copy it i think we are getting that confidence to uh, to set the design based on our market based reality based on our market and without worrying too much about what will the world think right